So I think most of you were wondering like, girl, where have you been? Or what's going on? I haven't been posting a lot in my social media or uploading any videos. Well, number one, my pre-loved Mac, um, what's it called? Mac computer, the iMac got fried. So that's where I do most of my iMovie editing, most of my video editing. So all that is gone because my hard drive is not working and it tells me that the computer tells me it cannot be fixed, bring it in to get a new hard drive. So here I am just working on my laptop which the last time I've used it to edit a video was during the summertime. So there was a lot of things I had to rework and redo. And secondly, all the footage I've took, uh, I've done for my, I think there was a plan with me and I also did a studio tour because a lot of you guys asked me, you know, how do I set up to film plan with me and I did a video on that and everything is in that computer because I usually upload it to that computer and then erase my memory um, stick. So now what I have is just a plan with me and I am just... Oh, so frustrated with technology right now and not to mention that two weeks ago my husband spilled some water on my laptop so <laughs> this whole month the whole month of October has been pretty up and down and stressful <laughs> oh my gosh anyways enough of me ranting and let's get on to this plan with me video so this week I decided to do a no kit plan with me. I'm going to use all the stickers that I found at the dollar store. Yeah, the dollar store. It was Halloween and they were getting a lot of, um, getting rid of a lot of stuff. So I picked these up and like, oh my gosh, I was so happy to find these borders here. I'm going to use it for my headers. So this plan with me is going to be a no kit plan with me. I'm going to use all the stickers that I have and just try it out. When you plan with me or when you plan your weekly spread without kits, it's a challenge, not a challenge, but it really pushes your creativity and that's what I love. But it does take me a lot longer to do because with kits, you know, you're like bam, 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 you know what to do. But with this, you want to try to make it look cohesive. You do want to make it look not too messy or too busy, but I'm just having fun with the spread and I hope you guys enjoy it. This week we're going to plan from October 21st to October 30th. Let's get started. The reason why I chose this week to do a no kit plan with me is because that we all know Halloween lands on uh, Monday which is for next week's spread and that will be the official Halloween spread for my happy planner and I figured this is the week that leads up to it and I could do like a fun Halloween leading up to Halloween spread and that's why I decided to do a no kit for this spread. So I've picked out some scrapbook paper that looks pretty vintage, pretty old, pretty Halloween-ish and I'm going to cut them into full boxes size. And I'm going to quickly sort them out. This week I'm going to do a scattered style spread, so instead of just doing the top section as my today, mid section as my decorative, and the bottom section as my to-do, this is going to be scattered everywhere. Once I like how the pattern is, I'm just going to glue it down because these are the thin scrapbook paper and all you need is just a glue stick to glue them down. Here I'm just taking out these washi strips or sticker strips just to see what's in the package because I haven't uh, opened the package yet. So I'm just going to go through it, see what will work, what wouldn't work and what I like to go where. I'm going to use the fence like my bottom washi and I'm going to pick out the top washi for the top part. Before I place the top and the bottom washi down, I want to work on my sidebar and my weekend because I do want my washes to be the last thing on top of these pages or the last thing on top of the spread. So 
So on Monday, we have an appointment with an agent to look at some property that is outside the city. So I'm just going to indicate that with a page flag and a haunted house. Because I thought, hey, what's more fitting than looking at houses and you have a haunted house? So doing a no kit spread, washies are your best friend for these washies and scrapbook paper because you could do anything with washi here. I'm just covering the header with a piece of washi that I found actually at the Target store when we visited the States. And because we'll be out all day driving about, especially driving out of the city, there won't be much I'd be doing that day except for driving and walking on properties. So the only thing to do that day is to take out the garbage. Because I'm so used to using half boxes to indicate certain things or certain events, I decided to stamp my own half boxes onto my sticker label and then cut them out and use them as a half box. I've decided to use purple ink and black ink because of the dollar store stickers are mostly black and purple. So the Tuesday bottom section is going to be my to-do list for that day. I'm going to cover the header with a washi and also using the foil pumpkin sticker washi banner that I found at the dollar store. The orange star check flag is actually from the seasonal holiday Mambi sticker book and I felt that the star didn't really fit in with the spread. So I decided to cover it with some circle asterisk stickers that's also in another Mambi sticker book. And I loved how the black stands out from the orange, just like that. Because this week's spread is scattered, I find it easier for me to write down everything as I go. So as I said before, washies are your best friend for this type of style spread. I've decided to make a page flag out of the washi, just cut the end. Because the 24th will be out and about, I decided to make Tuesday as my Etsy day to get all the orders fulfilled and mailed out by that day. My little girl also has karate that day, so I'm going to indicate that with the little girl witch, which is super adorable, and a page flag that I just cut out from my label stickers. And on to Wednesday, I'm going to cover that header with some washi tape and also uh, the washi border from the dollar store. So it's my husband hockey night and I figured that um, I should decorate it with a spider and I'm like, I know I could draw a spider web in that box. And then my camera just stopped recording so sorry you guys that you guys didn't see me finish drawing the web but it's there. I think that's the only thing you missed. I thought I'd build a little scene, like a cemetery scene at the bottom of the page, so I just stuck a tombstone and a tree with the moon. And on, I believe Saturday, we have a Halloween party to go to, and we don't know what to dress up as, so Wednesday's gonna be my day of brainstorming and creating the costume. I like to sew and create my costume rather than just go buy a costume, because that, to me, is actually fun than just buying a costume.
I forgot to add that Monday is also our grocery day, so I'm just gonna cut out a flag again with the washi tape and add my grocery stickers to it. So Thursday is going to be my creative day. I'm going to indicate that with one of the half boxes that I created and trim it with one of these borders. Because now my daughter is officially in preschool, I want to be prepared. So um, on Thursday, I wanted to make sure that we got her classmates some treats and also that her costume is already ready and prepped for Monday. Also, there's a list of things I do need to do for Thursday to get ready for Friday. So I just took another page flag checklist from the Mambi Happy Planner. Mambi, Mambi, Mambi sticker book and place some asterisks on top. I've decided to use a bat sticker to fill in that space in there. My camera battery died so what you have missed is that I've placed down my planner book to film a plan with me. I'm going to fulfill some Etsy order and mail them out that day and also planning to do a mini new release video or mini new release on that day too. So there is a lot of things to do for Friday. You guys may have guessed it by now because today is November 1st and that I was supposed to do a mini release on the 28th and it didn't happen because of all these computer issues and all these things. But anyways, um, it got postponed till either tomorrow or Thursday. I'll be releasing two new kits plus a few functional icons. So just look for the video for that. For the bottom section of the weekend, I decided to do another graveyard scenery. So I'm just putting some tombstone and a tree there. On Saturday we have a Halloween party to go to so I'm just going to use another blank scrap of paper and use that as an indicator. Here I am just filling out the items I need to fill before I forget. The bottom I've decided to film a few things, a new release video, a plan with me and the monthly spread. And I'm just going to add a few decorative stickers just to fill in this space. Once the weekend's done, I'm going to start on my sidebar. I'm just going to mimic using the same scrapbook paper that I used for the weekend. Um, with the sidebar, I decided to use a double-sided tape instead of glue. I just felt that it's a lot easier and faster. This spider sticker is also from the Mambi Seasonal sticker book. I am going to play around with the sidebar just to see how I like the stickers to lay out. I do want to put a quote sticker in there too. So I'm going to go through my Mambi quote book and see which sticker is suitable for this spread. And the quote I found is, what you create does not have to be perfect, which I think is perfect because this is literally you creating a weekly spread without kits and, you know, it never have to be perfect. I'm just going to fill in the notes in there. I do have a freebie Friday also coming up to on the 28th and that little cat on the sub is just to remind myself to post my freebie Fridays and if you guys have not checked it out just go to our website and click on our blog and there will be a link for the freebie Friday. Freebie Fridays is every last Friday of the month I'll be posting or uploading a 
just a simple kit that you guys can use um, for yourself, personal self. And there you go guys, this week's spread with um, using no Etsy kit or no kit at all. And it may look very busy and, and chaotic, I guess you could say, but I think it works well with the Halloween theme and I think it's super adorable. It did take a lot more time than I, my usual plan with me's when I do film because you are creating everything from scratch and making everything work. But at the end, it's well worth it. It's unique. It's one of a kind. So thank you guys for watching. I think my next video would be up by tomorrow. It's one of my mini new releases. Can't wait to show you guys two new kits that I've been working on. And also, if you guys have not checked out my sneak peek or official sneak peek of the December Mystery Kit, it's up on our Instagram and also in our previous video. And pre-release sale is on as of now till November 13th. So if you haven't purchased yours yet, it's still up. Once again, thank you for watching and I will see you guys, I guess, tomorrow. Happy planning. Bye.